Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Patrick Ta Dimensions 2 palette. You guys know how much I love the Dimensions 1 palette that I have, and you can see it's a very well loved. So I'm going to create three different looks for you, including the one that I'm wearing right here. Let's get into the video. Not quite finished with this look here, because I'm doing several videos. I'm sharing concealer video, uh, just some new tips that I discovered. And I'm also doing my foundation all that. Anyways, you're gonna see the completed look with my brows, another, that's gonna be another video. But we're gonna get into this. Um, I'm gonna show you three looks. I'm gonna film all separate days, of course. But today's look is gonna be this one with this palette. So let's talk about this palette a little bit first. So this is the packaging. I know it looks all fingerprinted. That's the thing that I don't like about his palettes, but I really like his shadows and I really liked these colors. Are they different from other ones that I have? Not completely, not completely. I feel like I have some shadows that are similar in my Charlotte Tilbury, but I really, really like his shadows. Um, I know somebody mentioned something and I'm gonna mention it in here too. This is my other, this is my Dimensions 1 palette. I have to be careful because one of these Maybe it's not loose anymore. One of these was kind of loose. And I'm going to show them both together so you can see that they are different. You can see that this is well loved. I use this palette, but it is gets it, it gets messy, okay? If that's an issue for you, just know that, okay? But I love that there's creams in here. I've, I've shared that before, and I use those. And you can use creams and shadows together. I use the creams even to line my eyes. I just really love this palette. But what I was going to say is, these colors right here, this one not as much, but these two right here can get kind of weird, okay? Because I use my finger, I feel like they, they apply better with a finger. They don't apply as good to me with a brush. And they can get kind of weird. So you have to every once in a while kind of just lightly scrape it, you know? Like you, I have some of those, um, I don't have it in front of me, but those little eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, mascara ones. I have some of those. You know, you can buy packs of them, okay? I don't even remember where I bought them at, but I'm, I'm sure like Sally Beauty Supply sells them. Maybe even Target sells them. I don't know. Or uh, Ulta, Sephora, whatever, okay? And I will just lightly scrape it off because these will get kind of a little bit funny. But I do really like these. I, I really, I use this palette a lot. And you can see it's very, very well loved. It's one that I have in my bathroom that I use all the time. There's other palettes that I have, and I know I need to start using them again. But I just really like this palette. So let me, what I want to show you is, I'll show you the difference. Because I was like, is there really a difference? And there is a difference. So I'm going to put them both together. So this is what they look like. So let me get my face out of there. Okay. So this is the Dimensions 2. This is the Dimensions 1. So they are different. I thought maybe the browns. In this one, we're just, no, they're not. They definitely are different. Even the even these creams are different than the creams in the other palette. They're definitely, definitely different. It's not worth seventy dollars. <laughs> okay, it's not. Just like Charlotte Tilbury's, hers are really high too. Um, get it on sale. Get it on sale. But I do, I personally really like them. So let's get into this look today. The first color I'm going to do is this one right here. I love that this palette has, and the other one does too, has a transition color and I really like that. I have a different mirror in front of me. I gotta twist this around here. Hopefully you don't see. No you don't. You barely see it. I'm just trying something different today using a different mirror. So I'm just applying this all over my lid as you can see and in my crease area then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to use this color right here I do really easy looks I don't do anything complicated once in a while I do something a little more but um, this is gonna be very easy and I'm probably all the looks I'm gonna create are gonna be really easy because I just feel like most of us don't have time or don't want to spend the time if we're going to be going out someplace. We don't want to spend five hours doing our eyeshadow. You know what I mean? And I'm going to go back in with that first color again. And I will just go on here and just kind of soften that a little bit. 
One thing I have to mention is I was tweezing my eye here, okay, and I pinched my eye. So I couldn't blend it as well. I couldn't, yeah, just so you know. it's gonna, This eye might look slightly different than this eye because I probably would have done maybe not as dark, but I couldn't blend it out all the way because then I would take off the, um, you know what I used, by the way? I'm wearing the Painterly from MAC. So, so far I like it. I tested this out years ago, I hated it, but I like it. Um, I applied it with a brush. So that is the eyeshadow primer that I'm using today. And so I put that to kind of conceal it and it seemed like it's pretty much working, but you can see right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use this color right here, that purpley color, and I'm just going to pack that on that. Outer corner. I wanted to try his blushes and I almost bought it at the Sephora sale. As I'm, as I'm filming this right now, the Sephora sale is going on. I just don't know for the summer. I don't know if that's going to work for me. So I'm like, maybe why get it now if I can't really wear it now? I just don't know with humidity here. If, that's why I don't wear a lot of cream products in the summer because um, it just doesn't work for me with humidity. Now I'm going to go in and take that same first color and I'm just going to put it on the lid and then I'm going to take this color right here, that one, on my finger and apply it. And I'm going to do the rest of the the eye look. I'm just, um, I'm just going to get some other things done and I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish this, okay? But look at how gorgeous that is. Oh. Love, love that shimmer. Ooh. As I'm talking to you guys, you're going to see me create two more looks besides the look that I'm wearing right here. So I just want to talk a little bit more. So I really like his palettes. I find them to be blendable, pigmented. I don't feel like they kick up too much dust. I feel like out of all of my palettes off the top of my head, I feel like the ones that kick up the most product are my Anastasia palettes, but I still love them. But I feel like I can dip my brush in here. I can apply the shadow. I feel like they're very easy to work with. They're very blendable, very pigmented. I like the shimmers that are in here. I just think they're so, so pretty. As I mentioned in the video, a couple of them, because you have to put your finger in it, they can get a little weird, but if you just kind of lightly scrape it off, you can keep on using them. So that's, I guess, the only complaint that I have. But I use my number, my Dimensions 1 all the time, and I know that I'm going to be using this one a lot, too. I like that it has the creams in there, too, because you can, you can apply a cream and then put a powder on top of it. You can, and I do that with my Laura... Um, Mercier Caviar Sticks. I've showed you guys how to use creams and powders together. You can use the creams to do an eyeliner for yourself. You can use it on your lower lash line. I just really, really love his eyeshadow palettes. I personally really do like them. Is it worth $70? No, I mentioned that already. It's not worth $70 to me. So I definitely recommend if you can get it on sale, I would get it on sale but I do really, really like it. Same with, same with, um, and I didn't get the first one on sale, by the way. I paid full price, but I feel, feel like it was, I think it's gone up a dollar because I feel it was like 60, 69 or was it 65. I don't remember, but I don't think I got the first one on sale. And I do really, really like it. I do. Okay. So I guess it's worth it, but I mean, I don't know. I just think that's, I think it's a lot. Same with Charlotte Tilbury. It's the same thing. I think her palettes are about the same. I don't know as far as ounces, you know, going into all that. I'm not going to get into how many ounces and all that, you know. But I use it a lot. I use I use it a lot. I feel like I actually use his palette more than I do my Charlotte Tilbury's. <laughs> and I do like Charlotte Tilbury, but I haven't been pulling them out as much. I feel like, and they're in my bathroom, but I feel like I pull, like if I want a really good look, I just quick too. These are really, really quick looks that I created for you guys. I, I don't like anything complicated. Sometimes I might take a little bit more time to do something else, but I don't like to do any looks that are really complicated. I feel like most people don't. I think they're fun to watch, but 
Honestly, I do, especially in my age range, I don't think a lot of you guys want to spend like an hour doing your eyeshadow. And I know I don't. Unless I'm going out someplace special and maybe I'm going to put a little bit more time in it. I just want something that's going to be really quick and easy and you probably agree with me. I don't know what else to say other than I really, really do like this palette. I'm glad that I got it and I highly recommend it. So if you're looking for shadows like this, these really pretty colors, I recommend it. Now this one right here, this one's like a color shifting one, but I have that one, I have one like that in the, my Dream Palette from Natasha Denona. Um, I have one like this from Charlotte, from, yeah, Charlotte Tilbury. I have a little mini, um, like a quad that has this color in it. It's a very popular color. So I do have that color, but I still really, really like these colors. I feel like there's some that I don't have that are a little bit different. And I just really, really, like I said, I know I'm going to enjoy using it. But is it, like, is it so different and unique than any of my other eyeshadow palettes? No. But for the most part, I don't really get palettes like that, though. You know what I mean? I'm just not going to wear, like, a vibrant blue and a yellow on my eyes. I mean, if you want to rock it, I don't think it matters how old you are. Just do, do whatever makes you happy. If you want to wear yellow and orange fluorescent eyeshadow, then then rock it. You know what I mean? I would look ridiculous in it myself. Like I would just wouldn't feel comfortable for me. So I don't go for palettes like that. These are the, these are the palettes I like. I like stuff like something like this because I still feel like it's neutral. I feel like I can just whip. I could probably do two shadows and do a really, really pretty eye look with this. So I really, really do like it. So I think that's it. That's all I have to say about it. I do like it. I I know it's it's worth it to me. I know I'm going to enjoy it. If you can get it on sale, I would recommend getting it on sale. Okay, so thank you guys so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. Please make sure that you are sharing my videos, liking, commenting, because it helps to push my videos out. And I really appreciate it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I share new videos every single week. Would really appreciate support. And thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye.